Well, welcome to another episode of Disrepair. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of this 69 Cornet that I found, barn find, but really it was just a friend of mine had it for a few years and uh, just didn't get around to building it. Put this thing in drive. It has a gear, so that's a good sign. Let's see if the brakes work. Stopped. All right, power steering's working. So far, so good. Somebody uh, went through the trouble to put Flowmasters on it. They're very loud, so it's gonna get pretty noisy in a minute because they put like resonators out the back. So it's like deafening, but uh, this is the first time I've driven it with the new tires. It had a set of uh, True Spoke low rider wheels on it when I got it, and they rubbed everything. So you couldn't drive it, you couldn't turn, you couldn't go side to side, nothing. So far, so good. Let's see if she shifts to second. Two gears. Of the interesting things about this Coronet is it's called a 440 but it only came with a 318 two barrel and that's original um, the it's kind of like a Galaxy 500 doesn't have a 500 cubic inch engine the Coronet 440 came with a, a lot of different engines you can order it with different ones the 440 package did not designate the engine size one of the things I wanted to show is the size difference between what they considered a compact car and a mid-sized car in the 60s. So comparing it to this uh, 65 Falcon of my son's, you can see it's just a, a lot bigger car. Now when you're driving it, you don't feel it. It's not until you try parking it that you actually feel the size difference. I know you're probably thinking this thing looks a little rough around the edges, but it's a very straight, solid, original B-body and these are getting very hard to find. And I just went and picked it up and drove it home. I mean, these cars are still out there if you're looking hard enough. And uh, honestly, it drives really good. And for as little interior as it has, it's very quiet. It doesn't have the rattles and squeaks like you would think it would have for just being an open interior. Now this car was equipped with uh, four wheel drum brakes, manual drum brakes. They still work okay. Um, when you stop, there could be a little bit of, you need to put a little distance between you and the car in front of you, but um, they work just fine. This car was also a factory air-conditioned car, so they didn't opt for the disc brakes. I guess they weren't worried about that, but they were worried about that heat in the West Texas sun, so it does have factory AC. Well, if you look at the dash, you obviously can see that there's some remnants of somebody trying to work on this. Uh, the heater hoses are de detached, so very very likely that the uh, heater cores popped on this thing but you know it's it's not hard to fix it's one of those things you just have to deal with when you buy a car like this somebody might have tried working on it and uh, we'll get that fixed up and put the glove box back in all the parts are supposedly with the car and uh, it's never been painted so I would rather buy a car like this that you can actually see what you're getting than one that's uh, been bonded over and had a uh, had a paint job you can't really tell what's underneath you know what you're getting when you buy a car like this. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.